Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so this actually is a little bit more than finding area and perimeter of irregular shapes. If you look at number one, you guys and you girls, I gave you this weird looking irregular shape. So it looks kind of like a boot, right? Yeah. Or a really fat L. You know? Okay? So if you look at the green outline, that is the shape I gave you. And then I told you that this side was what? Ten. I told you this side was what? Eight. I told you this side was what? Seven. I told you this side was what? Three. The red two and the red seven, I did not tell you those. I did not tell you the red two and the red seven. How did you figure out the red seven? Somebody help me, please. Bergen, thank you. We did 10 minus. Three. Okay, so Bergen, we knew this side was ten. ten. And we knew this side was what? Three. three. So then this was the rest of this long side of ten, right? So ten minus three is seven. seven. How do we know this red two right here? Bergen? <laughs> we do eight minus six. This whole entire base was eight, and part of the base was six. The only thing we didn't know was the last part of it, right? Mm -hmm. So ten, eight minus six was two. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then to find the perimeter, we just took all of our side lengths and added them together. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, for number one, we had to find this sh the area of this shape. And we know the area of a rectangle is base times height, but is this a rectangle? No. No. So we had to make it into a rectangle. Yes, no? Okay, so what we did is we, what do we call this thing again? Chunk it. So we took, you see where this red dotted line is? I'm now making it green. Mm -hmm. We chunked it into two different rectangles. Yes, no? Yes. And then we found the area of this rectangle. So we put an X there, and then we had to find the area of this rectangle, so we put an X there, right? Yes. So let's start with this one right here. What is the base of this rectangle right here? Two. Huh? Two. Two. It's two, right? What's the height of this rectangle? Ten. So we wrote ten times two, yes, no? Yes. And now we need to find... The area of this second X, this one right there, yes, no? Mm -hmm. What is the base? What's the base? Six. Is the base eight? No. no, the base is eight for this whole entire thing, but we only want this part right here, right? Mm -hmm. So six, and what's the height? Seven. Seven, right? So then we use six times seven. You with me? Mm -hmm. We multiplied ten and two and got twenty. We multiplied six and seven and got forty-two, added them together, and we got sixty-two units squared. Everybody? 62 units squared. And we call that doing what to the shape? Chunking, chunking it, right? Okay, number two, same issue. Do you see how we chunked this shape? Everyone see how we chunked it? We have our green X right here, and we had our black X right here. We found the area of each of the rectangles to figure out or to um, come up with 40 centimeters squared. I'm not going to go through this one as thoroughly. And we've added up all of the sides. Yes, no? Yes, no? Yes. Everyone's eyes still up here? Cool. Number three. This time I had you plot points. Same difference. We found the side lengths of the entire shape. We chunked the bottom. We chunked the top and found the areas using the side lengths. Yes, no? Yes. And then the last one, number four, we had to find the area of that shape. What do these red axes, Melissa, what do these red axes that I'm now making green represent? The okay, so we counted and crossed off the whole squares, right? So you counted all of these, the red and the green ones now, and we came up with how many? 18. And then we took the black axis, so like this one and this one, we said, well, that together makes one. This one and this one together make two. This one and this one together make three and so on. We found how many when we combined? Seven. If you add those all together, what is the entire area of that funky looking shape? 25 squared. So, Count to cross off the whole squares first, combine partial squares second, add them together, and you get your area. Got it? Yeah. Questions? Yeah.